Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play EU4 as Russia. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, we have 619 diplomatic points. We do get an extra idea at Admin Tech 17. What would I want though? Probably another admin idea group, I would I would say. Economic expansion. I don't think we want expansion. We don't really need another merchant. But not another merchant. We don't really need another colonist. Let's actually give us two more colonists. So I think maybe a little bit too much. Tech cost goes down, mercenary cost, core creation goes down. The maintenance for the mercenaries, I think, is kind of garbage. But I don't really use mercenaries at all. Prestige decay. I mean, innovation at minus 10% tech cost. Institution spread plus 25% also is, like, really nice. We might actually go for innovation ideas next. Probably is in our best interest. You... Still need to get you up to 15, but again, we do still have about 26 years to get that done. So I'm not too, too worried. We can act government reform. Fantastic. What do we want? We either go for more government capacity, which we do not need at all. Yeah, like what is, what is my capacity at right now? We are at uh, like half of it. So why get more? I'd rather just reduce autonomy plus by 10%. And then there's one more after this. Be ready in 1694. Which really, I don't think it seems that bad. It's still about 100. Oh, now it's actually 1689. Things are improving pretty quickly. Um, countries. Poland wants some units. You are at war with the Hungarians. Really? You're going to... I mean, I. you know what? I've never really done this before. So, I don't know where it actually is. We could offer some units. You pay us 22 a month, which is two times maintenance. And you know what? Units are now 24. You are the 12 to 8 stack. You're the Russian Imperial Army, which I'm assuming is you're the 4th Army. It's you guys. It's 22 stack. And of course, it pays 408. You know what? You know, yeah, no, I'll do that. I think I still get to control of the units as well. So let's move you into this territory. Getting that money, I, I probably should have been doing this a a lot more in the past. Because we do get paid for these units. And like, I have so much manpower, I might as well spend it, right? Desires of the flesh. Lose 10 prestige, lose 200 ducats, and rest goes up. Albain, divorce you. Lose 15 prestige. I guess we'll just gain a little bit of unrest. We did lose you, which really sucks. But you know what? Prestige, you're a half cost. I will take you. We're at 9 yet because we're spending 1 on the policy. That's not a huge surprise. Well, I guess we're going to fight this army. Not really what I had intended, but... I mean, I guess Poland's paying for them, right? They won the war. Okay. Are, are you in the war as well? No. But again, I get, I get paid for it, so who cares? We will move our way into this Hungarian uh, province. How many troops do you guys have? 4,000? Okay, that's basically zero. So we might as well sit here, occupy these territories. Do I get paid or do I do get paid for the loot? You know what? I'll definitely take that. What is this war even over? I don't know. We're definitely going to go for Devil Tech 15, get Admin Tech 18. With our new idea group. And also being 10 years ahead of time, we're going to go for innovation ideas. Do I get a bonus just for choosing these things? I don't... I don't think so. If I was cost minus 25%, you're pretty good. You know, we will take you. And what do we actually get for the ideas? We get production efficiency plus 20%. 10% combat ability is pretty good. Settler chance is kind of... Am I mean, it's still nice, but it's not really what we're looking for. At least not right now. You are some troops from Flanders. I'm assuming... Yeah, yellow is probably who we're at war with. Our alliance is breaking with you. Because we're allied to your rival. Persia, I do want to keep our alliance if at all possible. When? What do I need to do? We consider the same two problems to be vital interest. I mean, what, what do I even... Pretty subject? No. You want these territories up here. 
you know, for right now, I will ignore those two provinces, which should allow me to keep the alliance. I mean, I could easily just attack them in the future anyways. It really makes no difference. You are at 22 stack. I cannot not attack you right now. I don't have a leader in charge. Oh, you know what? Okay, you know what? Let's get you here. A 1-3 is horrible. Yeah, no, that went really badly. Basically, that's exactly what I expected. Um, so we'll kind of just leave for now. I do you have so many men? Are you at war with somebody else now? No. I, I, where's the ledger? History, ledger, uh, relationships, uh, current wars. Poland, what is this war over? You're attacking for Jir. Okay, so like, you want a territory. You're attacking for this province. Oh, of course, we will uh, repay our final loan. There we go. We are now debt-free. We'll sit in this area, earn a little bit of our um, manpower back. Like, I don't know why you're having such a difficult time with this, to be honest. And our colonies have become self-sustaining. Fantastic. We've almost... I mean, we have reached the, uh, the ocean here. So maybe we can actually reach our way into... Um, North America? You, you can also hire... You know, Brandenburg, you'd also hire some units? Because you are at war with you. And you know what, Brandenburg? We're going to do the same thing again. I will... Diplomatic Actions, African Darty. You've already been rented out. We can only rent out 24 units. So never mind, we can't give you anything. I don't know if you would actually offer us a better deal or not. Are you worth anybody else here? Yeah, I guess we'll go to this one little province. Actually, you know, you come over here and kill all these smaller armies off. For admin points for now. What's our first idea here again? It is Prestige Decay. Which isn't like a fantastic start. It's still something. The army's showing back. They have one death stack. They showed up in the very last moment. Okay, fine. We're, we're losing more units again. But that's okay. I'm sure Poland would more than willingly, uh... My truth of these expired? It has. We'd have to fight the Portuguese, but I don't know if I care at all about what Portugal has to say about anything. And really, we're just fighting over, uh... I guess I do need to actually fabricate the claims, huh? We don't want Gotland. We basically want everything else. Fabricate a claim here. We'll fabricate a claim on you. Not counter espionage. We will. And we, we don't. These two provinces, I think that's still fine enough for us to take. And you know, you guys are probably going to be winning your war soon. 11 stack of units down there. You know, we'll just, we'll just sit up here in uh, Danzig for now and cross our fingers and hope everything's okay. Because you. I mean, like. Is Portugal going to be able to do anything against us? Like, I'm sure they're a powerful country, for sure. But, like, we're all the way over there. We're, we're over here. You're over there. You have had the sides of the army. I'm sure your boats probably, like, probably have a nicer navy than us. But I really don't think that matters too much. You are a massive army, which I do not like. You know what? Let's just kind of leave you guys alone. What if I, um... I'm going to attach myself to, uh... You know, let's go reinforce this guy. Okay, no, you've, you've won your battle. Okay. Then, I guess for now... I mean, I don't even know why this war is even still going on. Maybe because you're still at war with Flanders. I could send troops to Flanders. They have, like, four... How many fortifications do you have in your tiny-ass country? I don't understand. Also, I can't even get over there, so... That kind of ruins that plan. Send you down towards the south. Could become defender of the Orthodox faith, but... Okay, they don't like... I mean, I've lost hundreds of thousands of troops, Poland.
Look, I'm sieging down a province right now. The council arrangement, fine. You know what? I, I, I'm sure I still made enough money off of you. Spiderberg, do you actually still want the, uh... Kandardi? Are you, are you even at war anymore? You're not, so I'm gonna go with the answer to the question being no, you don't want it. So then I, I imagine... Workshop, marketplace, church, dock... The ramparts... Where are the manufactories? So, like, I'm not too sure... I have a weapons manufactory, plantation, train station... Most effective... Which one of you is, um... Salt, fish, naval... Local defensiveness goes up a little bit. You require coal, which of course we don't have. We cannot construct more buildings in this province. Did I not build like something that allowed me to get something else? Like my university. University's always been built. Okay. Well, I guess that's something. Uh, we've got, we've got the barracks, we got the church, we got the workshop, and we got a lot of things in here, which is nice. Natural attack models. You know what? 50 ammo points. I will replace the other dude. Uh, you are in. Well, there we go. Court. Yearly prestige. I will replace you with. Yeah, this guy. He's got. Um. No, it's you. You're half cost, and your 10% tax modifier, which might actually end up paying for itself. We're earning 16.8. Now we're earning 14. No, 16.5 actually. We're actually earning about the same amount of money even with the advisor, which I think is pretty good for us. Obviously. Uh, you guys, I... You're actually worse Sweden at the moment. I don't even know why. Sweden's probably trying to take territory from you. But I guess while you're in the middle of that war... Are you at war with the Portuguese as well? You're not, but it's because you're both Catholic, so that actually makes perfect sense. Unless you're Protestant. No, you're not. You're both Catholic. So I will conquer this area. We do outnumber them. No, we... We do not outnumber them. Oh yeah, because it's Portugal has their entire colonial empire, right. I could call the Polish into the war. And you know what? I will. Are you still fighting your other war as well? You are, but you've already ended your war against Bohemia, so you know what? I think that's fine. You're still okay, you're still okay. I'm still, I'm not really worried that the Danish are really going to be able to do anything at all. Also, we don't care about the Golden Horde. Thinks about our merchants, we'll do whatever the hell we want. We've taken over one province, let's take over another. I'm going to send over a single infantry division up to Ravel. And maybe we can get our way to Osul, never mind, we definitely won't be able to, but that's okay. Not too worried about it. Also, if anything, this would be the time for us to actually attack um, Lithuania as well. How many troops do they have? They have 8,000 men. Because Poland's in our war. And they, they cannot fight against us. So you know what? Hey, Poland. Or, hey, Lithuania. I am here to come kill you as well. Because I have kind of cheesed the system enough. That I am going to win. Pretty handily as well, I would say. Okay, let's see if you can get the Osul. We get some modifiers here. Okay, so apparently they don't want me going over here, which I, I can understand, but I'm not a fan of it. Got a prestige decay to go down. And Lithuania. Hey, guess what? I am here. Portugal's already in Portugal already at war with us, so that doesn't matter. Um Which actually means they might lose them Defender of the Faith because they can't join this war. I'm not too too sure. Theodora's going to get involved, but guess what? I don't care at all what Theodora has to say about anything. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter where we attack. I don't have generals. You know what? Mm. But I don't think we actually even need generals, to be honest. 
you go, no, okay, you go here, you go there, you see down our actual war goal, and there we go, I think that seems like an okay place for us to attack. The Danish are about to lose an army, which is pretty good. One production perm. You're, I mean, you're all green numbers, so I guess I'll go with you. Uh, do you have any more fortifications around here? You don't, really. I know we don't have a general, but even without a general, like, our numbers are still, you know, much higher than theirs are. You're actually going to attack us. A 9.8 against 27,000, you're actually going to attack. We've occupied you. I don't know where these guys are going, so we'll try to cut them off from the pass. Your capital, of course, is over here, which we're about to siege down. I know you still don't have a general, but I still think that's kind of okay. There we go. Five war score. Pretty easy. Oh, Paul actually land troops over here. That's nice. We'll send you guys down south. Rush. I mean, Sweden's already blocking you, so we shouldn't need to worry about that whatsoever. You're at 28. You're at negative 7. And what's our claims? Basically everything other than modern-day Lithuania. It will probably make the Polish really mad at us. But on the other hand, who cares? I don't. You're about to be occupied. Go kill these peasants and take their fort. And I would say that's a pretty successful war. We could maybe go to Theodora as well. Do they have a... Is there actually like an important province in this area? No, they don't really have anything that's like super, super good. You guys have been occupied. You'll be occupied soon. Is there any enemy forces in our territory? Not that I can tell, so we're pretty safe. And Poland, I'm sure, could kill anybody uh, that we'd have to worry about regardless. So, kind of okay with that. And we can probably also take a lot of money from them, even though we might not need to. I will, of course, go for military tech 18, which will allow me to get better artillery units. And, like, hey, Lithuania. It's a quick little war. And if I if I was to theoretically, you know, take over all of the territory that I have claims in, let's just say all of this. It'd be 64 guards expansion. Only Lithuanian Great Horde would be able to form a coalition against us. It doesn't really matter so much. The overextension would be at, quite high. And you would, this is exactly 100%. Yeah, and honestly, like, we're not forming any coalition, so we're, we're still pretty good. We don't need to be funding these fortifications, though. Let's turn those off. And we should eventually just kind of win no matter what. And we're going to get a ton of territory out of this. So we're going to actually have to save all of our uh, admin points for this. But that's still okay. Got another area that is now a uh, colony, which is fantastic. You guys go here. It's 75% right now. Some Lithuanian troops are trying to make some progress, but, you know, they're not really going to be able to get anything done. And Theodoro is Theodoro, so who cares? We got a very, very snaky Russia. Now they've occupied this, you guys go here, you can go to here, and that should be all of Lithuania, you know, occupied, which I think works pretty well for us. Are there any troops that we have to worry about? Because we're also at war, of course, like, you know, some of these colonies over here, Louisiana, Brazil, Peru. Not a huge deal, as long as we can kind of hold our war goal, because this is, this is really all I actually want. If I can take these three provinces worth 19%, I will feel pretty confident with that. You know, I feel like that's an okay number for us to have. Send you guys out of the country. You can go here. You guys combine to, let's say, there. And Lithuania, would you say yes, this is 100% war gold? No, you would not. But maybe once this is occupied, right, 89%. I mean, Lithuania is occupying some territory, but I really don't think that matters too much. Theodoro! You don't want to give up. 
But you know, congrats. Good for you, I guess. Can I actually walk to you? No. Send you guys to cell. Send you to Moscow. 22 stack goes up towards uh, here and tries to kind of clean them out. I think these are pretty easy wars just for us to kind of grab a, uh, a small handful of territory. Can I get even a ducat out of you? No. What about, like, Gotland as well? If I was to, like, theoretically want to take... Because what are you? You are... No penalties. You're a 30 war score. But, yeah, we don't... We can't take Gotland ever. What about, like, this area? Poland? I mean, we've already occupied all of this. But you know what? I will take my small amount of territory. I will call that a day. It also kind of humiliates the Portuguese a little bit as well, which I, you know, I'll, I'll take. You march away to here. You go to here. Like, Lithuania has really just been like a punching bag this entire uh, campaign. One innovation or 10 prestige to file legitimacy. Our legitimacy is actually... Actually, no, it's fine. Lose 20 prestige, though. No, I think we're fine with this. Send you to here, Poland. I'll take your royal marriage. We're losing 6.7, which isn't great, but I'm assuming that's because, yeah, the casualties we have suffered. Yes, I'm fine with the ships costing more. It makes no difference to me. What is nice, I have noticed that if we weren't reinforcing our armies, we would actually be earning a small amount of money. Okay, maybe not right now. But now we would. Okay, fantastic. By the way, how's innovation looking right now? We're at 4 to 5. Not quite where we need it to be, but we're, we're definitely getting close. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think any of the heroes we're going to be annexing have embraced the... Uh, have embraced it, unfortunately. That's gonna, like, this is going to be like so much territory. It's going to give us a big border with Poland, which might end up breaking our alliance. I think we're kind of okay with that. Of course, add all of these to the trade company if I've not already done so. Where's my other... I, I have two settlers. Oh, they're both here. Wait, no, they're not. Oh, yeah, one's going here. Right, 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 right. Okay. So we'll see if we can actually make our way into Alaska. Uh, okay, uh, you know, Albania will join the war. So, I mean, that's nice. You still will not say yes to this. Current peace offer. Demands exceed, uh, you know, whatever. Please... This is, this is the problem with the AI. They have, like, these a handful of tiny troops that they can be extremely annoying with. There's Danish Separatist. I don't care about those guys. I mean, I don't know where they're going. For 87%. I'm sure if I took, like, one less... We could, like, one less province. But on the other hand, I could just take all of it. Like, what is this, what is the occupation actually hurting us by? Like, actually a decent amount. And Theodora, would you wipe peace? The answer apparently is still no, they wouldn't. You go kill this 18 snack way up in the north. Like, Lithuania at some point is going to be annexed. It's not going to be this episode, of course, but... You know, we're rapidly approaching a time when, uh... Lithuania will cease to exist. There we go. 99 War Gold. Thank you for that. And Lithuania has apparently ended all their internal conflicts. So you know what? Good for you. Of course, we will, uh... Core whatever the hell we can. It's going to cost us a lot of admin points. But, you know, it is what it is. We actually still have some left over. Which is more than I would have, uh, expected to begin with. So, you know, you guys go here. You guys go here. You guys go here. Turn off all of our fortifications because they don't need to be on anymore. But I do think that this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is If you enjoyed my thumbs up, not enjoy, call you some down. Want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.